Hello and welcome to the first of many different uh, training documents and videos for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. My name is Tyrone McGrath. I'm a consultant for Information Management Group and for mainly Dynamics CRM. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you through the core features and navigation that will be running over a, a series of different videos but I'm going to be starting uh, with uh, just an overview of CRM just to give you a look and feel and get a feeling of for how CRM uh, works. By the way, uh, when, when I mention CRM, I really mean Microsoft Dynamics CRM, um, but it, I'll just abbreviate it to CRM. Uh, also, it's important to note that there's different ways in which you can access Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So you can either access it through Internet Explorer, uh, through Outlook, or even through uh, mobile devices. I'll be primarily focusing uh, my videos by accessing it through um, Internet Explorer. Microsoft Outlook does grant you a number of other features which I'll be covering in a separate training video. So um, if you do need to be using Microsoft Outlook or you are using Outlook, really it's going to be the same look and feel for you anyway. It's, it's just a, a different um, browsing options on the left hand side and you're, uh, as I mentioned before, you're granted some functionality around that. Okay, so I'm going to be taking you into um, our deployment of Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online. Okay, so to access your company's deployment of CRM via Internet Explorer, you must first be added as a user to CRM and be provided with the URL to type into the browser. And um, so if you don't have that information, please uh, contact your CRM deployment administrator. Once you do have that information, so you've got that URL, open up Internet Explorer and type that URL into the, into the bar at the top. You should now be logged into CRM and you should see something similar to the screen that I have open right at the moment. You'll notice that I've defaulted to the uh, dashboards area. You'll see what um, tenant you've logged into at the top right hand corner over here. I've logged into the Iron Group tenant. And you can also you should also see your name at the top. At the moment I'm logged in as CRM training. You can see also, because I'm on the CRM online, I have the option to sign out um, based upon my Windows Live ID. So to browse to different areas within CRM, you'll be mainly utilizing the left-hand nav bar. The bottom left-hand side over here, you can see that I'm within the workplace area. From within workplace, it opens up a host of different folders for me to browse within the workplace area. Now it's important to note that based upon your security role that has been assigned to you, you are going to only see the sections and subsections that you need to have access to. So therefore, your navigation bar may look different to the one in the example that I'm showing you. Now, CRM is primarily designed for managing company relationships and has out-of-the-box functionality to manage your customer's relationship during a customer's typical life cycle. There are six primary modules of CRM which are covered here on the left hand nav bar. So we have the workplace area which we've like I mentioned before we defaulted into um, and we're in the dashboards area. This is an area that's designed to act as a favorites area or a shortcut section where you can view some of the common uh, information very quickly that's held within CRM that is related to you. And so what we have is a dashboards area so that you can see high level information that you may have set up need to have views on. There's also activities so you can see all the activities that may be assigned to you that you need to have completed. Uh, we also have calendars and the ability for you to import data uh, and, and also duplicate detection. I'm going to also show you the queues area, which if you just imagine a queue is, uh, acts as an inbox for you. We've also got an area for you to be able to do uh, reporting. So these are the reports which are loaded into CRM. We have some out-of-box reports here which are available and you just have to double click on those reports to uh, to load them up. And because CRM is primarily focused around the contact and account, CRM has access to those records from within the workplace area. So essentially, many people will just work from within the workplace area and not need to go into any other area within CRM. And you can see finally there's this extension that this is, um, because CRM is fully customizable, uh, we've added just a small extension onto here with a record type called schemes. The next area available is the sales area. 
This section provides you with all you need to manage the sales cycle. So some things you can do is manage customers and accounts. So uh, you can see we have access to the contacts and accounts area. It's the same area that was available in the workplace, it's just also in the sales area as well. We also have a concept of leads. Now a lead is um, just basically a very simple record of a, a contact that you may have before it's been qualified. So it's a way in which you can capture just the most basic information because let's face it, before you've even uh, really started interacting with your customers, it's unlikely that you're gonna have all the information that, that you'd want to hold. So a lead is just a, a contact that before it's been qualified into a, an actual customer that's done business with you. And I'll be covering that in the sales training video um, later. There's also the ability to track sales opportunities. Sales opportunities are any opportunities that may be coming into the, um, into the business. Uh, and we'll be covering that um, in the sales um, video as well. Okay, so next we have the marketing area. This section allows you to complete all marketing related actions including managing your marketing campaigns from start to finish. Some of the things that you can do is the ability to uh, create marketing lists and you can see here there's some lists that we have already created uh, and they enable us to capture groups of people to communicate with which are held within CRM. We can have campaigns. So we can run various different campaigns from, from within our company using CRM uh, and we can attach those marketing lists to those campaigns and distribute campaign activities such as uh, mail merges or email. You can also create and manage marketing lists. Now if we move on to services, we have an area where we can manage a, a problem or uh, a request that they need resolving. So that can be held within the cases section if I just go up to here and click on cases where you can log those types of things. Then if we move on to the settings area, this area primarily concerns CRM administrators. But this is where we can customize the system to fit it around your business requirements. There's also an area for administrators to to administrate the system, such as adding new users or creating teams or security roles. This templates area is an area for you to um, have reusable email um, formats to be loaded into the system for you to, to use. Another area I'd like to bring your attention to is the process area. This is where we can automate CRM so that it does uh, automated tasks for you and makes your lives a lot more easier. For example, uh, we have, if you see here, this complaint acknowledgement and workflow, which essentially, when a new case gets created, it will give a complaint acknowledgement email to the customer. Okay, so that concludes the first video for Core Features and Navigation. If you join me for the next video, I'll be talking through the creation of um, forms, and in particular, creating contact records, uh, and all the related activities around creating those. Um, so thank you very much for your time uh, and I'll catch you in the next video.